Hey guys, welcome back to Data with Dominic. Today we'll be looking at the show function in PySpark. Uh, so the show function is basically available to you on top of data frame objects in PySpark. And it displays the data frame object in a tabular form of format, much like you would have seen uh, while using DBMS systems like SQL Server or MySQL and stuff. So let's dive into the demo. I'm in my Databricks Community Edition and uh, I've set up a cluster so if you want to know how to do all that and set up your Databricks Community Edition to use PySpark for free I'll leave a video linked in the top right corner of the screen and as you can see I've just loaded a data frame from a CSV file I've got another video about how to do that it'll be in the top right corner of the screen so that's done so let's just see how the show function works All right. So to use the show function, you just uh, type in the data frame variable name, df in this case, and then you do show with parentheses. And when you run that, you get your data frame object back in a tabular form. And you guys would have seen this probably in um, your whenever you're using a DBMS system like MySQL or something like that. So yeah. And then the show has some parameters which we can use the show function and how we can access and see what those are is we can use the help function available to us in PySpark. So what you need to do is just to help open parentheses and then you write the function that you want to get help with. So we've written help df dot show and once we uh, returns the results you can see we've got sort of three main parameters available to us one is the n parameter one is uh, the truncate parameter and one is the vertical parameter so what are these let's dive into each one of them so basically the n parameter helps us to choose how many rows we want to return so normally when we run the show command or show function we get 20 rows back how many ever so if we see here inside this there are 20 rows returned to us but if you want to just see the top five rows we can give an n is equal to five and now if we run it again you can see that we've got only five all right so that's how the n parameter works in the show function in PySpark. next we can look at the truncate so when looking at the truncate, we can, when we write the df.show, what we can do is, if, as you can see, some of the names in the email column previously had got truncated because they were really long. Uh, that means that you see the dot 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 and the full email is not completed here. So if you want to prevent that from happening, we just need to do truncate equal to false. All right. And when we run that and get the new table back, you can see that the same email that was truncated earlier, which was Gus Bosworth at addthis.com is given fully. And how, how we can combine them is in the same order as they were listed in the help function. You just need to put both of them separated by a comma. So we're going to return the first five uh, rows in the data frame as a table and we've set truncate to false. So now when we run this, we get the same table as the previous command, but with truncation turned off but suppose we do want to truncate people so then what we can do is we can do data frame show this we'll do n is equal to 5 just to keep it similar and then we can do truncate equal to 4 so now as you can see any name that is longer than 4 characters has been truncated with us so that's why you can see only gas is available to us right now so yeah that's how the truncate works and the last one which we had seen was the vertical all right so the vertical is by default set to false and i'll just show you what happens when it's set to true so when we set the df dot show and inside bracket parenthesis we do vertical equals to true we get each row in a vertical format each row of data becomes a vertical element or each record becomes listed vertically with the field next to it. 
so that's a little bit about the show function in PySpark. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, uh, subscribe, comment, share, hit the bell icon and we'll see you in the next one.